Welcome back to Dracon's Plays. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Alright, so, I finished up the Fountainhead Palace, um, rebeat the Demon of Hatred and all of that. Um, I've also maxed out my prosthetic upgrades for the time being. Um, I need more Lapis Lucii to be able to, um, like, do the final two upgrades. So I'm gonna have to do that in New Game Plus outside of this playthrough. I got the final prayer beads in the 10th um, and final prayer necklace, so we have 20 bit. Dina Hatred boosted us to 13 attack. Um, Skill-wise, we're pretty well off. Um, yeah, I don't have like extra stealth or vault over, those are useless in this fight. I don't have a few skills like Shadow Rush or more um, Spirit Emblems, but I did buff our healing. Um, which is nice. Um, yeah. It's like I could get more posture back upon death blows that's used against the boss. And then we have thing... And then we just have a handful of other stuff hanging out. The only other one that would be partially useful for this fight would be Devotion. Um, but anyways. Let's see. Um, like I said, we got the 10th Prayer Necklace. Or the final prayer necklace, as they call it. Um, the seven spears of Ashina were pivotal in Ishin's coup. He awarded the lance to none but his most loyal samurai. Yet now, only a few of these seven remain. So there were seven of these guys. We killed two of them. Uh, that explains the seven spears name, uh, which was curious before since they only had one. It was referring to there being seven of them. Um, let's see. Yeah, Lone Shadows is another interesting one. Lone Shadows are the Interior Ministry's most trusted agents. Each of Leader um, Mutatoswa Orobe 17 born has a spe or speciality from Poison to Shinobi Hounds. So it's like there were... Like, are you talking about there being 17 of, like, the mini-boss version, or the regular guys? Uh, I'm thinking they're talking the mini-boss version, because if I had to hazard a guess, there are more than 17 that you fight throughout the game. Uh, or find the bodies of. Just if I had to guess. Anyways. With all of that out of the way... I'm going to start throwing myself against um, Ishin. Um, now, like I did with Demon of Hatred and Owl, ugh, and Owl Father, um, this episode will have like a shorter like highlight version of the fight. And then the um, I'll be putting up a full version of the fight. Uh, I'm hoping I can beat him this session. Um, I did learn that apparently the one move that gives me trouble, where he sheaths it, um, slashes, and then sweeps, if you just jump on his head at the start of it, apparently you can just cancel it. Or if you just, just jump initially, you can dodge the initial swing and get him on the sweep. But we'll see. I'll let this play. Shinobi of the Divine Air waits again. Behold, the second mortal blade. Ninjiro. If you think you can change Ashina's fate with such a thing, you are mistaken. Wolf. No one has the right to the dragon parasite. It is no one's to bear. I wish there was another way. It's all right. One last time. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's finish this. 
All right. So having um, found and heard the stuff on the um, Black Mortal Blade, um, him cutting himself and having Ishin step out. Makes a bit more sense. Oh, that was the wrong. Ah, oh, hit me on the back swing. Oh, that was a sweep. wasn't the cleanest, but I got him. Whew. Hmm. Gonna take a few rounds to fully relearn his move set and get in it. I. In the end, I was powerless. Grandfather was not. The dragon was searching for perfect. No, this fight is crazy just because you have to learn so many move sets, man. Like, I feel like that end of it's a bit much. Um. Uh, like, if it was him, and then three phases of Ishin, where he just added, like, one or two moves per round. Pitiful grandchild. This was your last wish. Yeah, if it was like one or two extra round or moves per round, that would be pretty manageable. To see Ashina return from the great beyond. Which means Sekiro. We must destroy you. One of the things I don't understand is why he wants to fight you. I was not expecting a stab there. Ah! Screw you, man. Ah! I fell for it again. Like, that specific move. Ah, crap! That was the move.
All right, having fought him. Okay, that was a swing. Okay, that was a sweep. Okay, that was a stab. Okay. Whew. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was my first attempt on this run, and I got him into phase three. <laughs> From what I understand, Phase 3 is a big wall for a lot of people. Um, Alright, I was starting to get it down. His damn gun, though. Why the heck does he also need a gun? Um, if I can get the Midikiri on some of those stabs, of which he doesn't have many, but if I can get the Midikiri, that'll make a big difference. Okay. Like, yeah, I thought I don't have anything to lose, and I don't. So it doesn't matter. Alright. That was a pretty good run. Um, having fought and beaten... Are you... Are you kidding me, man? Okay. Dude, sheesh, man. You either get him or he just kills you. Ah. <laughs> oh boy. I was off rhythm on that. But no, he's he spammed the hell out of his damn arrows there. Like what the hell was that? He shot so many arrows in a row. Like, I, I don't like the multi-shot off of stuff. Especially a bow, because it makes no sense. It's like, how the hell are you shooting your arrows that fast? Like, one big arrow shot. It's like, okay, sure. <laughs> but no, it just... Like, ugh, there should have been... There should be some sort of thing where it stops him from using that many arrows in a row. Lord. 
Ah, uh, damn it. What the? Was that a sweep that didn't get the damn symbol? That one felt messy, but it was actually better than my first. Ah, I keep falling for that. When he does the weird sidestep thing, get ready for it. I managed to get the deflect. Okay, that's not the move I was expecting. Dodge! Again with that, man! The fact that he is... Alright, that's about the same. I can get his first phase. Okay, that's a damn spin attack. Damn it! Oh, wow. Oh, that was a damn sweep. I would... I don't know about you, but...
Ah, crap, man. I don't want to waste those. Yeah. Alright, that was pretty decent. I almost had phase three. Man. Man, phase three? It's hard to sneak in some hits. Um. Alright, I am starting to get it, though. Um, having fought the easier version of um, Ishin for the other ending is definitely helping. He's still tough, though. But having fought an easier version, like, um, round one, I know most of his moves. Which is very, very much helping. So that means... Um, well, Ishin round one, round two overall. But yeah, I'm, so it's like I'm really, at this point, just learning... Or perfecting... Phase one and two, and I'm learning phase three at the moment. I will restore Ashina to glory. No, you don't. No, you don't. Gotcha! Alright. Alright, hold on. Alright, and I'm back. Alright, so I had a um, phone call come in for me. Um, Mid-boss fight, of course, and this is a good round, because I only got hit, like, what, once or twice? I have to wake up my controller. Yeah, still got all my pellets. I have all of my heals. I regen most of my health back off the death blow. So we're on Ishin, like, damn near as good as we could be. The problem being that break might have messed up the flow. almost had him. But there goes... All of my progress. Okay, that is some nonsense that that hits behind him. Oh crap! I ugh. one of the few things that I do dislike with his move set 
is how many sheath moves he has. It makes it very hard to read what he's doing. Uh, he has sheath, slash sweep, he has sheath, a sheen of cross, he has sheath, shock wave, and he has sheath, big spin attack. I'm starting to learn the, um, like, I'm, yeah, I'm struggling with reading those. I'm starting to get it down, but, man, that's going to be one of the tougher parts of this fight. heels. Damn. I wonder if that's interruptible. He almost always does that one. After a dash. Good. Okay. Oh, oh, come on. Two, or phase three down.
Yes! Yes! Gotcha! Mm. That felt good. Mortal Blade. Mm. That felt good. Oh, that is an awesome fight, man. Phase 3 is actually easier. Immortality severed. Okay. That's the spot. That is the spot. Alright, what am I doing? Okay. So anyways, I'm gonna pause it real quick, back up my save, and we'll do the endings. Be right back. Alright. So while it's booting up, I just want to talk a bit. That fight was really, really good. I was overwhelmed the first time I fought him, and my mindset was not that great going into him the first time, because I had just come off of um, Demon of Hatred. This time, I went into it um, with a different mindset, and I had fought an easier version of him. Those two factors combined meant I just got the fight. Memory, Saint Ishin. At his peak, Ishin Ashina devoted himself to a deadly conflict in pursuit of strength. Single-minded killing machine of a man. Dragon Flash! Combat art that performs a high-speed cut from a sheath stance. Charge to send out shock waves. Got ya. Cost spirit emblems to use. Okay, that's that move he was doing. In his younger years, Ishin was a devil with the sword, spending his days in pursuit of life or death combat. He often ruminated on how a cut should be made, but his blade always moved first. No hesitation. Here we go. So we're going to work our way down this list. Is the plan. Alright. We earned our endings. Damn, that felt good, man. I am at your side. Divine Dragon Tears. Here you go, Kuro. Take the dragon tears. <laughs> Here's the thing that was implied. That immortal severance... requires killing him with the mortal blade. Now. Sever these ties of immortality. That's sad, man. Really? Now where the sculptor? Emma. I think it is best that you have this. The arm. No doubt, the day will come. 
when a shinobi arrives seeking strength. Huh. Interesting. So that was Immortal Severance. That's a lead in to like a future game. And like that sets up there being another Sekiro. That's interesting. So another shinobi will come and get the arm and do some other cool adventure with it. And in typical FromSoft fashion, you don't get any, you don't get that much. Like, their ending cutscenes are so short. No. Alright. Before I go and do the next ending, I want to use, um, uh, before I do the next ending, I want to check a couple of things. For starters, I would like to use the memory and read the description for Ishin. Um, secondly, I would like to check out his boss room. Alright. Enhanced attack power. Saint Ishin. One who returns from the great beyond does so at the peak of their prosperity. Ishin converted strength in all manner of techniques throughout his mortal struggle. He wished for war until his final hour, and that's precisely what he got. Huh, interesting. Now then. I would like to see that boss room. Because I have not... This is the only opportunity that I potentially have to explore it without a boss trying to kill me. Not to mention I'm curious if Kuro's body is there. I do also appreciate that they don't force you into New Game Plus. That is very, very nice of them. hard to tell, but it does not seem like Kuro's body is here. Because it was this general area. Oh, maybe that patch? Hard to say. Oh, is that the... No, that's the back side of the entrance to the dungeon. Alright, and here's the busted bridge. There's that. It's hard to tell where some of these places are. Um, it's possible this bridge either leads to the rest, like outside of Ashina, or this is what leads to Sempu, normally. Um, the dungeon will be down here. Sempu should be somewhere in this arc. Alright, anyways. Um, Alright, I'm gonna pause it here again, reload the save, and we'll do the next ending. Be right back. All right, so the next ending we're going to be doing is the um, purification ending. I um, believe it's the, called purification. That's the one where we're going to transfer, like, the immortal uh, severance onto ourselves. Or, no, we die in this one. That's correct. We die in this one in his place. All 
uh, wasn't that patch. He was just a few feet over. But no, definitely not here. Tears in Ever Blossom. I appreciate that you just have a option thing to pick your ending. Worked very well for LP purposes like this. Take the dragon tears. Huh. Looked like there were flower petals on the FX. Alright. Huh. We get a different shot of him drawing the sword. I hereby condemn the last immortal. Cuts his own neck. Blood and flowers. All right. Do we get another scene? Yeah, we do. Kuro wakes up and finds us dead. No. A grave with our sword and rice. Emma. Kuro. An older Kuro, I think? They definitely did a unique costume for him. So you're leaving? Yes. Hmm. Hard to tell if he's older. I too will live for every moment. And then I will pass on. Just as my shinobi did for me. Lady Emma, I owe much to you as well. Hmm. And then he goes off. Purification. Interesting. So this one didn't have, like, a good sequel hook. Um, I suppose you could do something with Kuro and his adventures, but you lose the name of the series in that way. Um, and it would be kind of contrived to have him lose his arm and have a thing happen. Um, like, I feel like that's a better spot to end with, like, this part of the story. Huh. Yeah. Uh, very interesting how different all of these endings are. Like, in their implication of what it means for the world and all the characters. I am very interested in what the return ending is like, then. Alright. Gonna pause it again? I'll be right back. Alright, now, time to get the final ending. The return ending, where we return the dragon's heritage to the dragons. I am very interested in what that is going to entail are we going to see a dragon in like the transfer or what this one is going to be super different i think um uh, i'm definitely interested in seeing where it goes 
once we're done with this ending, um, I'll talk about it like I did the others. I'll leave the credits to run, um, and I'll do my normal, like, wrap-up thoughts. Uh, yeah, I do like my normal wrap-up thoughts and talk about this game a little bit. Here we go. I am at your side. Take the dragon tears. It's interesting that he never tells Kuro what his intentions are. Is he turning to face Senpu? We must leave this place, my lord. All right. bring him to her. Lord Kuro, may you be at rest. Allow me to hold you in my heart. Whoa. What? I... I was not expecting that. I thought this was the one ending where both of us would end up together. I suppose it is a FromSoft game. Of course, there's no happy ending. Everyone, it is time. I must depart. The journey to sever our ties with fate will be a very long one indeed. And yet, you still wish to join us. I do. Oh. You have my thanks, Shinobi of the Dragon. Know that Kuro shares my joy. So they're one person now? Or she just has access to his mind? To the West. To the birthplace. Of the divine dragon. Huh. Well then. Dragon's homecoming. That was not what I was expecting. That one also leads to a potential sequel. That's interesting. But their journey... Huh. Interesting. But their journey to the birthplace of the Divine Dragon and returning the dragon's heritage to them. Hmm. That's interesting. That one also has potential. Uh. Alright. So anyways. That was Sekiro. Shadows Die Twice. Um. Overall, I love this game. The combat, like the flow of it, the way deflections worked, and how you fit prosthetics into your tacks, and like all that was super cool. Now, I didn't utilize the prosthetic as much as I probably should have. Uh, I was using it more as a situational tool or problem solver, um, as opposed to like just another move in my move set. Um, I was really doing the same thing with. Um, combat arts, only using them at very specific points. Um, most of them have a lot of startup, so that kind of makes sense. But no, I, I really, really enjoyed that. Um, I love the entire thing with Robert and his father 
who is the armored knight we fought in Sempu. Um, and I've been looking at a lot of the, like, lore surrounding them. That part's super interesting. Um, yeah. It, that's super well handled. Um, yeah, like I said, the combat's fantastic. Character side quests are okay. Um, I have done most of them between the two playthroughs. There's only one I haven't done. Um, and, yeah. That one um, is the surgeon thing, and I'm not... I'll probably do that at some point, but... Yeah. A lot of the other stuff in this game is just super cool. Now, on my own time, I am planning on playing through um, New Game Plus to get the remainder of the trophies and 100% um, this game. Um, get myself the Platinum. But, no, I've had a blast with this, man. This game is fantastic. I've, I've really enjoyed it. Now... Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be playing this one as much as I do the Dark Souls games. Just because I feel like in some ways this game's missing the replayability. And it's not just the weapons. I'm totally fine with it just being one weapon. But it's just like, yeah, you always have the same weapon. You always have the same prosthetics. By the end of the game, you get enough skill points. So you always pretty much have the same moves. Um... And it's like, there are a lot of, there's a lot of freedom of movement in levels, but in between levels, there's not nearly as much. Like, in levels, there's a whole bunch of branching paths and different ways to, like, move through and start and handle every encounter. Um, but when you're talking branching paths between areas, um, it's a whole bunch, like, it's a straight shot, um, from the beginning of the game to the castle and then you just have a few branches that are for the most part just straight shots and I'm talking like zone wise it's like from the beginning of the game you have access to the memory which is self-contained little area um, with yeah I, I guess two paths but the other path like meets back up with the other one Kind of making um like a i guess like a six type shape um well not really six but you get what i mean um but then it's like from the castle you have like the abandoned dungeon leading to sempu split off you have the bottomless pit to the ashina depths branch off um also from the castle you have the branch leading down to the, I can't pronounce it, but the Monkey Valley, um, and all of that, which has another way that leads to the Ashina Depths, but at the, like, beginning of that area? Um, so for the most part, it's just a lot of, like, straight shot paths. One of the big things I was missing in this game was, like, big optional areas or bosses, like that sort of thing. The only truly optional area in the game was going back to the um, outskirts at the very end when everything's ablaze. Going back there, and then you fight the um, Demon of Hatred. Those are the only things that are like truly optional. Other things are only optional depending upon um, your ending that you're going for. Um, yeah, it's, I feel like that's just one of the things that's missing. Because, yeah, one of my favorite things working through the Souls games, it's not so much, like, planning out what weapon I'm going to use and what my stats and build and all that's going to be. It's part of it, but not the big one. It's the planning the route. Like, planning, okay, what's the fastest way to get to the weapon I want to use? And then to any of the armor, other particular things that I want. Like, that portion of it. Is what uh, I really enjoy replayability-wise with those ones. And this one is missing that. You can beeline for certain prosthetics. But at least with my playstyle, that doesn't make a huge difference. 
experience. But like I said, I think this is an amazing game. I just don't think it's as replayable as the others. Uh, from a like gameplay perspective and like overall, I would say um, I might actually enjoy this one more than any of the others. But unfortunately, there's not as much to keep bringing me back to it. But I, I will come back to it periodically. I do the same thing with Bloodborne, which has a similar problem. Um, but anyways, so that was Sekiro. Um, I, like I said, I very, very much enjoyed this game. Um, anyways, uh, I'm going to wrap this one up here. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure as much as I did. And I hope you guys will join me for my next one. Bye!